Hello and welcome back to my channel. At first glance, spring does seem to be appearing, but unfortunately we don't quite have the temperatures to match at the moment. So I won't lie, it does feel slightly too early to be doing this switch over, but as I want to start planning for the seasons ahead, I need to do it now. I'll be adapting today's switch over from what I usually do, so that I do have some warmer items left to tide me over until we get that weather change. So here is my wardrobe in its autumn winter state. As you can see, it's heavy on the coats, other outerwear like blazers and jackets, a plethora of boots, and of course, lots of knitwear. My first task is to clear my workspace so that I have plenty of room to move about, make piles and get out my storage tubs. This poof is actually new to my wardrobe. It was down in our TV area as it matches our sofa, but we extended our sofa earlier this year and added a chaise section, so that meant I could bring this up here. And to be honest, I'm grateful for the extra storage as it comes in handy for my loungewear, which I've removed here so that I can pop the poof in the guest room whilst I do my switch over. I always remove my rug from in here as well because this process does tend to create a lot of dust caused from fabric fibers. So this way it keeps the rug out of the dust and the hard floor is easier to clean afterwards. I am starting with an initial hoover of the floor to pick up any dust that might be there already so I have a clean workspace. I'm bringing up my rail from the office where I film my fashion videos and popping that in the spare room so that I have somewhere to transfer hung items. And this is the first thing I do as part of my process. I usually start with my main and largest hanging area, which throughout autumn and winter is home to my coats, shirts, and long knitwear. I'm transferring everything from that rail onto my spare rail so that I can go through it all and decide what's staying and what's going into storage. Now that this section is clear, I can give it a deeper clean than what I usually do each week and it's nice to have the wardrobe itself nice and fresh for the start of a new season. I'm starting to go through this rail full of coats to decide which coats I'm going to keep out for spring. For example, all of my trench coats, they're very spring appropriate, so they will stay and can now go back onto the main hanging area. I've also decided to keep out a couple of wool coats, one lighter and one darker option, to see me through any further cooler weather. Now with the remaining coats on my spare rail, I'm removing the hangers and creating piles so that they're grouped together and ready to go into storage. I like to free up my hangers at this point so that I have plenty to hang any spring items on once my storage tubs come out. I also had a few other pieces which were already out in my wardrobe, a couple of dresses, a slip skirt and some shirts. So they have been hung back in the main section as well. Now that section has been edited, I'm moving on to my second hanging area, which is usually where my blazers are kept. So again, it's the same process of fully transferring all items from this rail to my spare rail so that I can clean the space and then move on to editing my selection that will be kept out for spring. I do usually keep most of my blazers out all year round because they are one of my style staples and something I can get wear out of every season. I've also got some cardigans which are hung in this area and I've decided to keep out a couple of jackets, again for any cooler weather where I needed something warmer than a trench coat. Going back to the spare rail and I'm removing hangers from those items which will now be going into storage for the next seven months or so. And now I have my stock of hangers for any further pieces to be hung. The final hanging area is where I keep my trousers and I had some ankle boots underneath on a shelf, so those are being removed as well. After editing down my selection of trousers, as I did with the previous two hung sections, I'm now left with my spring trouser selection and my spare hangers. Time for a quick water break. This is thirsty work. Now I'm moving onto my shoe shelves, which are currently filled with boots and slippers. 
It's time for those to go into storage now and to make way for my spring footwear. So I'm clearing the shelves fully and giving them a good clean, which is actually something I do regularly, given that the soles of worn shoes are resting on there. On to drawers next. The majority of my drawers are currently filled with knitwear and I do like to keep out a fair amount of knitwear for spring. So I'm emptying every drawer so that I have all my knitwear in front of me in piles and I can clearly assess what I would like to keep out and what I'll be putting into storage. It's usually around this point where I realize I have way too much knitwear and vow to never buy another piece again. And those of you who know me will know this is an impossible vow for me to keep. Knitwear is such a passion of mine. I'm definitely a collector and I rarely colour piece from my collection, which is how I've ended up with such an extensive collection. Now all my knitwear drawers are empty, I can go through and decide which precious pieces are staying out for spring and the rest is going into the spare room along with the coats, trousers and blazers that will all go into storage. The next drawers to be emptied are my accessory drawers, which throughout winter house my scarves, hats, gloves and anything in between. They were the last drawers to be emptied, so now I can give all the drawers a clean and a hoover inside to remove any fluff, dust, and of course dog hair that might be hiding in there. The top two large drawers in my chests were where I kept my underwear and socks, but I've relocated those to the three former accessory drawers to make better use of space. I'm now relocating my sleepwear drawer to the top of the chest where my socks and bras used to be and now I have the much needed spare drawer for my active wear. I started purposefully exercising at the start of this year so now I have accumulated some more active wear which I didn't have space for. Now I can vertically fold all of my leggings, shorts, sports bras and tops and hoodies and they can live in the same drawer. If this is your first time watching one of my wardrobe organisation videos, I choose to fold items vertically because it's so much more efficient in terms of space and it's easier to see what you have. You can literally fold anything vertically, whether it be activewear, jeans, as you'll see coming up, t-shirts, knitwear, and I even have all of my socks and underwear folded vertically too. Now on to that denim. It's currently vertically folded in a drawer in one of my chests, but I'm going to relocate it to the longer drawer at the base of my main hanging area. I used to keep long knitwear in this drawer, but during spring, I don't really have enough of that out to fill the drawer, so this is a much better use of space. Going back to my knitwear, which I decided to keep out for spring, I'm now grouping that together in categories and they can go back into my drawers, vertically folded or rolled in some cases. So here my drawer of stripes has returned for another season. I also have a drawer of thick cashmere and then a drawer of really chunky knits at the bottom. Time for another quick refreshment break ahead of my next task, which is crawling, literally, into the eaves to get out my storage tubs. I also have some additional shelves in the eaves space, which are from my shoe section. As this is an Ikea Pax wardrobe that we hacked to suit the room, the beauty of that is that the shelves, drawers and rails can be adjusted, added and removed. My spring footwear takes up less space than winter boots, so I have additional shelves for this time of year. Now I've got all my storage tubs out, I'm going to go through and see what's inside. Now normally when I do this switch over, I would get out all of my summer dresses, but I really don't think I'll be wearing them anytime soon, so I've decided to tailor this switch over to spring and then do an additional but smaller switch when hopefully we'll have some warmer, 
dress appropriate weather. The next spring summer tub I've opened up is bags. And in this case, I am going to get out even my most summery of bags because I have enough space to have them out and I only have a couple which I actually packed away in autumn. I have some lighter wash jeans which can now be vertically folded and added into my new denim drawer with the rest of my jeans. As with the dresses, I decided not to get out any of my linen trousers just yet, but I did take some chino style trousers which will be useful for spring when the weather starts to warm up a bit. So those are being added onto my trouser rail. Some of my blazers in lighter fabrics like linen are being added to my blazer rail and I have some more cotton shirts which are being hung with my other shirts in the main hanging section. I've kept all of my linen shirts and summer tops in the storage tubs for now until I do my next mini switch over for summer. To clear a bit of my workspace, I'm adding those shoe shelves back into my shoe area so I now have more space for spring footwear, which I'll get to shortly. Now, much like knitwear, I also have a lot of basics. As I mentioned earlier, everything is folded vertically and this includes my basics. I have one small drawer for my sleeveless basics and one small drawer for sleeved basics. I fold in each side of the garment and then fold down from the top to create a small parcel, which is then easy to slot into the drawer and to stack with the rest. As I've taken my three former accessories drawers for my undergarments, I'm now relocating my spring accessories to one single drawer at the bottom of my chests. And I will have some more accessories to go in here for summer, but for now I'm keeping a couple of cashmere snoods in here as well, just in case. Moving on to bags which are stored in the cupboards that I have on the opposite side of the room. I'm removing all bags so that I can readjust to incorporate the bags that I got out of storage. Now a couple of my leather bags are put into storage for spring summer as they don't tend to be bags that I reach for during those seasons. And finally shoes. I do have an entire cupboard just outside my wardrobe for shoes, mainly my trainer collection, but each season I bring in a small selection of trainers that I think I'll get the most wear out of. A small edit, if you will. So my Birkenstock Bostons, my Converse high tops, and some loafers and other flats. So now everything is in its new place for spring, it's time to pack away my autumn winter items into my storage tubs until next autumn rolls around. I keep all of my coats in individual garment bags for extra protection when being kept in these plastic tubs. I've used these for years now and they have always kept my coats fresh and protected against pests. I pop each coat in its own bag and then squeeze the excess air out before folding into thirds and then storing in a tub. Now I can't fit many coats in each tub, so I have to use quite a few tubs. However, if you're short on storage space, you could use vacuum storage bags instead. They're a great alternative for saving space. Once a tub is full, the lid goes back on and then that tub can form a queue to go back into the eaves storage space. For other items like knitwear, trousers, denim and cold weather accessories, I don't use individual garment bags. I just keep each category together and lay them flat in the tubs until the tub is full. As you can see from this tub, I do sometimes use tape to ensure that the lids on the tubs stay closed firmly. Once all my tubs are filled with my autumn winter wardrobe, I can then start to put them away through the hatch and into the eaves. I usually put coats in first so that they're furthest away as I won't be needing those for quite a few months. Then following on with knitwear and any other tubs. My floor space is clean once again and now I'm giving the room a hoover to eradicate as much fibre dust as possible that I've caused from handling so many clothes. The rug can go back in and my storage poof, which I'm going to fill back up 
with any of the loungewear that I want to keep out for spring. Just as the weather has started to brighten up and there's a glimmer of blue skies, I finished my spring switch over. I've got some cooler weather pieces to tide me over if we do dip into single digits, but I've also now got some pieces which are more spring appropriate. I can now take stock of what I have and what I would potentially like to add or upgrade in my wardrobe, and I can start planning outfits for this new season. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next time.